What's up guys, Noah Quezzi here, and today I'm bringing you part two of my World Cup redesign project. I designed these over the course of the summer in Photoshop using various patterns and mock-up templates from my website, templatefc.com. I put in a lot of research, effort, and time into these designs, so I hope you enjoyed them and some of my ideas. If you do, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel for more, and let's go ahead and get started. I forgot about Australia in part one, so here we go with them to lead off this video. The Australian women's kit is one of my favorite all-time kits. I don't know if they still wear it or if they changed since then, but the one on screen is the one I'm talking about, and the color balance of that design is what inspired my design here. I brought in more green and white elements throughout with some texture added to the large yellow areas. It's a little reminiscent of the 1990 design as well. I know Australia frequently uses blue for the away kit, but I much prefer the green. My design here brings in two shades of green along with some yellow accents. My Spain home design is inspired by the 2018 Spanish kit and is essentially my variation of it. It has this serrated striping, which you might remember from my Mexico kit, with dotted line elements throughout so the yellow and blue colors are spread throughout the rest of the shirt. I really love the light blue away that Spain chose for this World Cup, so I chose the same color basically for my design. The design features broken up lighter blue and gold elements, along with logos and striping that have some red iridescence. This color combination is one of the best in the project. I was inspired by last year's Costa Rica kits, which are a lot better than this year's Costa Rica kits, with the painted flag striping on the chest. I had a different idea for my design though, so I went with wavy striping throughout. The main reason for this was to add more blue and white since there are so many red teams in the World Cup that I wanted to distinguish them a little bit. The away design has a flag sash stripe with thinner stripes coming off of it to fill in the rest of the shirt, and all these elements are very heavily eroded and distressed. The trim features the flag, while the blue used on this design is more of a royal blue instead of a navy. I really love Germany's kits with the flag featured in the striping, so I did something like that here. This design took me a while to get, but the final version of it features these sharp edges along with some splatters. I really like the overall chevron shape, and the logos being centered I think really caps off the look. Germany has had a lot of black and green kits, so those two colors are the ones that I chose to use here for my away kit. The pattern features a lot of rectangular shapes with some gold trim making everything pop a little more. I really like the use of red in the 1994 Japan kit, so I chose to include red elements on the front of my blue Japan shirt as well. The design features some dark blue and bits of red, along with patches of cherry blossom petals adding even more red. The Japanese away kit is inspired by Sumi ink art, I believe that's how you say it, with the red slightly modified to be closer to a pink hue but still red. The ink elements are also altered to be light gray instead of uh, black in order to keep that lighter color balance, and I think this is my favorite favorite kit in the project. It's definitely top three. I love how this one turned out. I replicated Belgium's 1984 Argyle pattern and skewed and distorted it into this chevron design. I added some cuts via the layer mask and offset them in order to add some of these sharper edges. The general setup is similar to the Germany home kit, but obviously with a completely different design and color balance. The light blue Belgium kit from the last World Cup was one of my favorite kits from that World Cup, so I brought back that same kind of color scheme here for my away. This design features wrinkled shapes the colors of the Belgian flag on the sides and the sleeves with some bespoke texture on the body. The pattern and stripe on my Canada shirt is actually made out of different sections of maple leaf. The stripes are very different, but I thought it was an interesting look that would only work for Canada and give them something unique to their shirt. The away design is made up of more maple leaves, but in negatives. The visible part is red and displaced, so you can't really make out the maple leaf, but when you look closer, you can see the maple leaves in the negative space of the white section. And you can see them pretty clearly on the right side of the screen with the progression of the design. The Morocco home design is a combination of Moroccan patterns merged together. It features darker red outlines and shadows with a background texture and small green organic shapes mixed in for some color variety. The Away is another interesting striping design featuring green and red with green splatters throughout. It's just an interesting way to spice up a white shirt. I love the Croatian checkers, so this is my version of them, which includes small blue sections mixed in for an alluring color balance. And of course, I slightly displaced and offset them a little bit. On the Away, the bespoke background part of the design is an angled checker design with the red zigzag shape on top. There is a more obvious checker design then on the trims, and the gold accents on this design really top it off. It's hard to improve upon Brazil's simple yellow 
those shirts, but I tried by adding some color to their design. I brought in some of the blues and the greens and maybe I went a little too chaotic, but I really like the addition of light blue to the green trim. I watched a movie a while ago that featured a parade in Rio, in Brazil obviously, and there were some costumes in there that had really unique shapes and color balance in their design. So I took some inspiration from those into my shirt design here, which is very colorful and features a lot of different shapes going on. It's a little over the top, but I enjoy the weirdness of it. I'm a fan of Serbia's kits with the deep red and gold, so that's the color combo I went with here. The cross resembles the one from their badge, and it's made out of this line pattern that I thought kind of worked for them. It's very unique, it's not too crazy, but it's interesting. The white and gold away shirt are made up of white and gold texture elements that include the badge or coat of arms from their flag. I really like the angle cross the Swiss used in their 1990 kit, so I created my own version of that here. Mine is made up of thinner, darker red boxes with some white accents. Partially inspired by the 2020 white kit, my away design is made up of multiple crosses stacked on top of each other and skewed. The red lines and particles bring in some red then to complete the balance. Both Cameroon kits here feature designs that bring in all of their colors, and each feature sleeve trim inspired by their 2017 kit. The home features these triangular shapes on the chest and sleeves, while the away features bespoke patterning on the front and red and green designs on the sleeves. The logos on both these shirts feature green, red, and yellow iridescence for some extra interest. Inspired by previous Portuguese shirts, like the 2012 away, I went for a Portuguese-inspired cross design, very similar to what I did for Vasco da Gama. I tried to bring in both the green and the gold and carried that element to the sleeve trim as well. For the away shirt, I wanted a design that brought in all three colors from the home with red, green, green and gold. The design is a bit of organized chaos. You can see it started off as an organized symmetrical design and I displaced and altered it to be a little more chaotic. Ghana typically has a fairly plain white home shirt, but their 1994 kit was quite interesting to me and inspired my design here. I decided to use all of their colors on these textured stripes, but still kept a lot of the shirt open white so I didn't stray too far away from their norm. A lot of countries wear red in the World Cup and this project obviously, so I thought I'd go yellow for Ghana and that would be a little more fun for the away. The design is a collection of these splattered stripes as I like to call them and it's just a way of bringing in all the colors together in an interesting fashion. I really like when Uruguay has some striped elements like their flag somewhere in their shirt, so I opted to have those on the chest and sleeve trim. The shirt design is a little more subtle with striping elements throughout that are slightly lighter and darker. The away brings in some black accents with the logos and number being black, along with the distorted stripes. And this striping is kind of my theme for Uruguay. I really like them having this striping. Obviously they can't go too crazy or they might look like Argentina, but I think this looks pretty Pretty neat. South Korea's actual World Cup kits are amazing, so I just try to do my best to make something really fun and interesting. This home design was inspired by tiger striping since the tiger is the main part of their logo, but the end product looks a bit more abstract, which I kind of like better. The Away was a modified version of the France kit you may have seen in part one, and it just brings in some more colors. I altered it in a few different ways, so it kind of had a mystical look, I would say, and it has some like light blue elements in there with the dark blue and pink, and that's my favorite color combo, which you may have noticed on my channel, my social media, those are my colors. So I think this is a good way to finish off this project. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel for more, Check out the full Behance project down in the description where you can see all the uniforms. Follow me on Twitter at Quezzy and Instagram that's Quezzy. Also be sure to check out TemplateFC.com if you want to create your own sports uniforms. Thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.